Hi, I'm Christy Clark and I'm here to welcome you to the Feb issue of Quick and Crafty. It's jam-packed and I am joined with designer Corinne Brad and she's here to dish the dirt and show us one of her favourite projects from this issue. Hi Corinne. Hello Christy. Thanks for joining us Thank again. You. What have we got today? Well, the February issue of Quick and Crafty has got a beautiful Valentine's themed free gift on the front of it. Lovely. Um, again, it's sparkly, you've got flower shaped sequins, you've got pearlized stars, mm. there's some padded hearts. And Jill Albliss has come up with a set of cards. I mean, she's really excelled herself this time. I love the paper weaving with the added sparkle. Mm, it is gorgeous. I'm, I'm quite a fan of the rose one. Yeah. Now, what I like about it, you know I love Valentine's and you know mm -hmm. I love pink, but it's the fact that we've used pink rather than your typical bright red. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, on a red theme, the cards here by Maria McPherson, um, I mean, it's not a bright red, it's a really nice vintage red yeah, yeah. with this beautiful blue. Um, and they're, they're quite old style backing papers on there, but they're... they're um, contemporary look heart motif that's on it mm. and also this really funky cross stitch that's that on the is front gorgeous, card there. That card. Yeah. I really like how quirky the hearts are. Yeah. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Now, obviously I was looking at this set over here. Tell yes. me a bit about them. It's typically what I would well, like. Well, Elizabeth Mode has used this bright pink and orange to cover um, a notebook. You've got a post-it note holder over there and some mm -hmm. lovely cards, all with a floral theme, using um, foam and also beaded detail around the outside of it. Mm, that and that's lovely. Cheers, isn't it? Mm. But carrying on with the beaded detail and also yes. the vibrant pink and orange, Amanda Walker has made them especially for you, I feel. Oh, really? Yeah. You're back. <laughs> <laughs> but they're beautiful. I mean, the other coat oh, hanger there has got a shoulder um, cover so that if you've got your best dress on the coat hanger and it's hanging up, I wouldn't hang it inside the wardrobe, they're too pretty. Mm. But to stop dust falling on the shoulders of your clothes, it's got a pretty cover on it there. Yeah, gorgeous. So what about features? Well, features, we'll be speaking to Jasmine Burgess. Um, you've seen her here before demonstrating polymer clay butterflies. Yes. So you'll recognise her. Um, we've also got a handy look at um, all things to embellish your cards with and mm -hmm. your crafts. I mean, there's such a, a host of uh, stuff out there now. Oh, yeah, of course there is, so, yeah, you know, wide range. Um, and there's also a feature on how to get the glitziest wardrobe in town. So that's something that I'm sure well, you'll be reading. I think I'll give you a run for your money on that because <laughs> I like me bling. Yeah. So what are we going to be doing today? Well, Debbie Potter's come up with this um, garden journal. Right. And what it is, it's like a mini scrapbook, um, but it's not quite a scrapbook because it's got little note holders for putting press clippings, flowers either from your garden or cut from magazines. And it's decorated with die-cut shapes, you know, little die-cut really tags. Sweet, isn't There's it? a little pocket in that that's made quite simply. Um, and it's made from mount board and then it's just held together with gross grain ribbon. Okay. So I'm just going to show you something very similar. Um, and look at the way that she's done this flower on the front yeah, here. It's lovely. It's not polka dot paper. She's die cut um, the flower, but before die cutting the paper, she's put lots of tiny dots from a hole punch, stuck it on it's the top. Really yeah, so idea, it's, isn't it's it? also very tactile. It, I love layers. Yeah, well, the, car, the one that I've made is about 10 centimetres by 15 centimetres, and we use mount board for it, which is quite a thick board. It's about one, two millimetres thick. So you cut your two pieces, and if you put them about two centimetres apart, mm -hmm. as you, if you make a bigger book, when you fold it in, the, the first pages will need to have a bigger gap between them right. to enable you to fold the whole book into it. So bear that in mind. And what we'll do is we'll stick gross grain ribbon on them to join them. Okay. Now, you're better off doing it so that the join is... Um, here and it holds it together. It won't then pull the paper off if, if it gets a bit um, right. rough. So use a bit of double-sided tape um, and I'm going to position mine three millimetres top and bottom. Cut yourself some tape just to stick the length of gross grain on there. One bit there. And then you don't need too much excess ribbon. You just need enough to make sure that it's held on there. Okay. Oh, you really don't need a lot at all, do you? No. I mean, what you could do, I mean, if you were a purist, you would run the whole lot from right across, you know, have a whole length for the whole of your album. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's, it's not the cheapest ribbon around. No. So um, just join them together like this. And then you can always, what you didn't use, use on other projects. Yeah. Oh, I've got hosts, loads of ribbon. Oh. And I've got loads of odd pieces of ribbon at home that are about three millimetres long that you just can't bear to throw out because you think, oh, I'm sure I'll find a use for it somewhere. <laughs> if I don't use it, my sister normally nabs it. Oh, dear. So stick them apart and then just cover them with a piece of card cut to the same size. Yeah. You can either glue this or, again, use double-sided sticky tape. I'm just going to glue it for speed today. And if you make the covers different colours, 
to right, different okay. shades of blue. Yes, I mean, if, if one that I've started here already, you've got the dark blue, light blue. I mean, there's a pearlescent style to it. I like the green the on green. there as well, yeah. Oh, that's um, lovely. And these are the little pockets that I've made. Mm. What I am just going to do is join this to this before I glue it down. And then I'm just going to show you quickly how to create one of these pockets. Because it's a really simple idea. Um, you can either use a die cut machine or you can hand cut something. Let me just join these. I just chucked my rubbish on the floor. They can oh, clear it up later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And let's have a different colour on the back in there. Let's have a dark blue. So you can see how the whole thing will fold mm. together quite easily, like this. Yeah, but, it does, does fold up nicely. But with these pockets, yeah. this sort of pocket, the best bet is if you... You can either hand draw um, a flourish on there, yeah. and then what you do is you just carefully cut it out. I mean, as I say, I've sketched it roughly on the back. Cut the flourish out with a pair of scissors. Make sure the width of your flourish is a, the same width as this. Okay, cut them out very roughly. So did you hand draw this? Yeah. It's yeah. really nice. I'm impressed, Corinne. Thank you. <laughs> and then if you mount it onto a piece of board, again, the same width, a bit of glue here and a bit of glue there. But make sure that the edges just butt up. Yeah. And then all you'll do, again, is you'll cut around the outside of the flourish, leaving a border. Oh, I see, yeah. And then you'll attach this to the card with double-sided tape. I'm just going to show you another one that I made earlier using um, die-cut shapes from a Sizzix machine and yeah. little tags and that. And as you can see, it's been cut around the outside of it. Then all you need to do is get some thin double-sided tape if you can find the end. Place pieces of this on the back. You're probably better with tape because if you want to put press cuttings inside it, the only problem with using glue is you don't know quite how far you're going to go in. Yeah. Especially if you put stuff in there before it's dry, then you'll never get it back out again. But just put pieces, <laughs> pieces of double-sided tape on here. This is where nails come in handy. And then if you line up one bottom corner, and then before you stick the bottom down, what I've found is I've actually made this about a millimetre wider than that. Yeah. If you stick the other side down first, so it lines up. Give it a slight pocket. It just gives it a slight yeah. lift, so it's much easier to get things in and out of. You know, it's, you can get paper in there so easily. Yeah. But there's all sorts of things you can do. I mean, there's a little notebook, note wallet here that you can store bits in, but just make sure you've got a bottom and side flap so things don't fall out. Well, they're gorgeous. Thanks Thank for you. coming in and showing us that today, Corinne. Now, that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid, but make sure you join us on www.quickandcrafty.com. I'll see you next time. Make sure you never miss out on an issue of Quick and Crafty by subscribing today for only $17.99 every six issues in the UK only. You will also receive two gorgeous Dovecraft floral paper packs, plus coordinating brads, marker pens and much more worth over £27. What are you waiting for? Call 0844 815 0038 or see www.quickandcrafty.com.